Alrighty, everyone, coming at you today from my PJs because I woke up with this transmission in my brain that will literally not let me do anything else until I record this video. So here we are, learning with Kate. <laughs> today we're going to be talking about, you guessed it, the sacral chakra. So for those of you who don't know, you have seven main energy centers in your body. The sacral chakra is one of them. And yeah, what I want to show today I really hope helps you to understand like why processing and feeling your emotions is important energetically and physically. So sacral chakra is usually ruled by the color orange. We don't got orange, so we're gonna use pink. So in this energy center, when it's functioning optimally, it's running nice and juicy and smooth and sexy. It has beauty pleasure, creativity, sensuality, all of your sexuality lives here as well. It, when I say beauty, I mean the ability to see all things beautiful in the world around you. So we're going to add some flowers, we'll pretend that's a nice flower, whatever love okay this is a really a really important center when it comes to creating anything passionate or doing anything from a state of pleasure or even receiving pleasure okay so something that is important to know about this energy center is that all emotions and when i say all i mean all emotions are filtered through here. So this means that time you were a kid and you felt frustrated and you didn't express your frustration because you didn't feel safe to or didn't feel like you knew how to. All of that is filtering through this energy center and storing here. This also means any emotions or feelings you are empathing or feeling from another person outside of you if your best friend is going through a breakup and she's feeling like really emotional about it and you are an empath, you are feeling her pain with her. So all of those energies are going to filter through this energy center. And what happens when we don't express our emotions is this. So we're going to use all different kinds of colors here. Say you feel jealous and you don't express that you're jealous. Jealousy is going to start to take up some space in this energy center. Say so you feel pissed as fuck. That's going to start to take up space in there. Say so you feel sad. You feel lonely, sad, depressed. and you don't express your sadness. You say you're one of those people that's like, I don't cry, I'm a bad bitch. Bad bitches don't have tears. Bad bitches do have tears, okay? Bad bitches are expressed, they are embodied. They let themselves feel their emotions because it's healthy. So here's your sadness, taking up space. Do you remember all of the nice, <laughs> oh, well, how many markers I have in my hand right now? You remember all of these nice, lovely pink words that I had in here first. Sensuality, pleasure, beauty, creativity. All of those beautiful feelings are now covered up with sadness, piss they ass, <laughs> jealousy, anger, frustration, whatever feeling it is. Like we could go on and on with all of these feelings. I think you get the point is that eventually, sooner or later, these feelings and emotions that are coming through if you don't allow yourself to embody them, release them, or feel them, they start to take up space in your pleasure center. And that's not good. We don't want that. I mean, if you want that, do your thing, homie. But like, I'm pretty sure all of us want to be able to feel as much pleasure in this life as we can. And pleasure is not just sexual, you guys. Like, pleasure is eating a meal and enjoying every single bite. Pleasure is, as my sister Sarah loves to say, talking slowly and feeling the pleasure of the frequency of the words leaving your mouth. Pleasure is 
enjoying the way a tree looks or a plant feels or something smells nice. It's all of these feelings and sensations outside of you that generates a feeling inside of you. So pleasure comes from within. Pleasure comes from this center. And when it's distorted and clouded and all of these emotions are covering this up, you're not able to access your deepest pleasure possible. You are not able to access the ability to see all things beautiful in life. Your creativity will be suppressed. Your sexuality will be suppressed. You'll be like, no libido. We don't want that. We want to have good sex, all right? So what's important here is to tap into this feeling of sadness. Why do I feel sad? What is that coming from? How can I embody shit? How can I embody this feeling and bring it up out of my body and express it in some way? This is usually gonna come up out of your body and be expressed through a sound or crying or punching something. Like something physically is gonna need to happen in order to get these feelings out. So naturally what's going to happen, you feel that sadness from that time you were in seventh grade and you didn't get a valentine from your favorite crush. So you let that feeling come out. And then it clears up some space. <gasps> Amazing. Now we have space for pleasure and beauty to go in there. Oh, you're pissed as fuck that um, your mom told you no that one time when you were a kid. Okay, feel that. Give yourself permission to feel because you are allowed to. It is a healthy human thing embody that let it be expressed maybe you want to punch a pillow maybe you want to write a really mean letter and then burn it amazing <gasps> look almost half of the chakra is open and available for pleasure and creativity and sensuality all right what else jealousy what are you jealous about who is making you feel jealous what needs to be said like what do you need to say all right amazing so as you can see we keep going through these feelings and we feel them and we let them be embodied and now we create all of this space again in this beautiful energy center and so what i see people oftentimes miss is what do we do now this energy center is is open and susceptible to any energy to come through all those feelings you felt before they have memory in here. They know that they can be stored here. They know that they can live here because they have before. So what you want to do is you want to call in either from your heart or from your crown. <laughs> That's a crown. You want to call in from source sparkling white light. You want to call in specifically sensuality, pleasure, creativity, right all of those energies that live in the center that you want to feel in this center that you want to feel in your day-to-day -day life so yeah i always say what's more important than the release is the replacement because you don't want this energy center to be wide open and available for any energy you want to program it and download it with the energies that you want to feel okay so lots of takeaways here of like for one what happens specifically when you store these emotions and feelings Two, what it looks like when you start to release this from your body. And three, what you need to do in order to activate it with the proper energies. Yay! So I hope you all can get out there and like feel as much pleasure as you can. I hope you're feeling empowered and safe to express and feel your emotions in any way, shape, or form. I hope this was helpful for you to see like physically what's going on. And if this helped you or resonated with you, let me know. If you are interested in taking a pleasure masterclass this weekend, the link is in my bio. Yeah, I'm going to leave it there. I hope this was helpful. Love you, love you. Have a great day.